Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And your yesterday's quiz question was In which all forms SLR, statutory liquidity ratio, can be held by a bank? So the commercial banks can maintain this in the form of cash, gold reserves, and Reserve Bank of India approved securities. So in three forms, that is the right answer. Now let's start today's session. First question for the day, with reference to the recently launched National List of Intangible Cultural Heritage ICH of India, consider the following statement. Statement 1. This initiative is a part of the Vision 2024 of the Ministry of Culture. And Statement 2. The list includes only performing arts and traditional craftsmanship. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A. 1 only. Option B. 2 only. Option C both 1 and 2 and option D neither 1 nor 2 so guys here our only logic will works so the statement 2 is wrong so the correct answer is option A 1 only so guys this is launched by ministry of culture it aims to recognize the diversity of Indian culture embedded in its intangible heritage intangible means unable to be touched not having a physical presence like dances festivals etc it also aims to raise awareness about various intangible cultural heritage elements from different states of India at national and international level and ensure their protection. So, so this initiative is also a part of Vision 2024 of Ministry of Culture. We already have 13 intangible cultural elements recognized by UNESCO and this list of Ministry of Culture includes 100 elements including 13 of UNESCO's. And following UNESCO's convention for safeguarding of intangible cultural heritage, this list has been classified into five broad domains in which intangible cultural heritage is manifested. The five domains are, first one is oral traditions and expressions including language as a vehicle of intangible cultural heritage. Second one is performing arts. Third one is social practices, rituals and festive events. Fourth one is knowledge and practices concerning nature and the universe and the last one is traditional craftsmanship. So five domains are there and guys our today's quiz question is Kalari Paitu which is an intangible cultural heritage included in this list. It is actually a martial arts form. So our question is this martial art form is from which state Kalari Paitu is from which state so identify the state and post your answers in the comment section we will now move to second question for the day second question is with reference to organization of islamic corporation consider the following statement statement one it is the second largest intergovernmental organization after the united nations and statement two its permanent secretariat is in jiddah saudi arabia and statement three india is not a member of it so which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 and 2 only, Option B 2 and 3 only, Option C 1 and 3 only and Option D 1, 2 and 3. So guys the correct answer here is it is all the statements are correct. So option D 1, 2 and 3. The organization of Islamic corporation is the second largest intergovernmental organization after United Nations with a membership of 57 states. It is the collective voice of Muslim world. It endeavors to safeguard and protect the interest of Muslim world in the spirit of promoting international peace and harmony among various people of the world. It was established upon a decision of the historical summit which took place at Rabat which is in Kingdom of Morocco in 1969 and its headquarters is in Jiddah, Saudi Arabia. India is not a member of OIC. However, India was invited as a guest of honor at 46th session of Council of Foreign Minister in 2019. So 2019 is the 50th anniversary of OIC. So India was invited to that session. So that is it. We will now move to last question for the day. Last question is Tribo E masks and Tribo electricity recently seen in the news is an initiative of option A Ahom Tribe Azam, option B IIT Mumbai, option C Department of Science and Technology and option D Ames Delhi. So guys 
the correct answer here is it is option c department of science and technology this is an initiative by a team of researchers at center for nano and soft matter sciences sense bangalore which is an autonomous institute of department of science and technology and try boy mask or face mask only very simple concept is used in this please see this picture you might have done this in your childhood a property of static electricity here the same principle is applied this mask got three layers the outer and inner layer are made of polypropylene material polypropylene material uh, you might have seen this in eco friendly carry bags this material is polypropylene material and middle layer of this mask is nylon cloth here what they will do is they will stitch this as a mask and they rub it so in by rubbing it will generate a static electricity which means the rubbing of nylon and polypropylene cloth and that generated electricity will prevent infections getting into the body and they are saying that after 30 minutes you have to clean your hands and rub it again to electrically reactivate this mask so that is the working and triboelectric effect it is a type of contact electrification on which certain materials become electrically charged after they are separated from a different material with which they were in contact the same principle is applied here so that is it so that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the quiz question and your scores in the comment section thank you for watching